just talking to people, period. Like if I was at a show, and, and I'm usually once I start talking, you can't shut me up, but it was different when I came to my work. It was a confidence issue. It was about my painting. And I just, you know, all of a sudden, I, I would just freeze up thinking they're going to think, you know, they're going to look and they're going to go, really? You think your work is worth talking about? You think your work is worth money? <laughs> so, and so I think that was really a big piece of it. I was just really very, you know, unsure of myself. Oh, I say I am at least at an eight. Finding my, my why and my what and my how made a major shift in all of that. Um, and I gotta tell you too, this Facebook page, it's the first time I've belonged to a private Facebook page. I mm -hmm. love it. I mean, I don't post a lot, but the stuff that I'm getting back from other people posting is amazing to me. It's really helpful. About two months ago, I had someone want to buy a painting and he said, you know, is that your best price? And I just had cataract surgery and needed a tooth implant and said, well, the painting still hasn't sold. I, and I sort of knew this guy and I knew that his way of living was like he never paid full price for anything. You know, he always asked for a discount. So when he did, I said, okay. And I, I gave him, you know, a discount. And he said, is that your best price? And even at that point, like all the bells and whistles started going off. And I went, you know, it was like danger, Will Robinson. Um, there was something, there was something not right here. And I said, yeah, that is my best price. And he said, okay, let me think about it. And I said, fine. Um, and I've just, I've just let it go. I just went, you know, if, if, he come, if he were to come back at me and say, okay, I'll take it for that price, because I had already agreed to it, I definitely would do that. I wouldn't. Uh, I, no, wouldn't. You, I, would, I would not. Up? I would not. I'd say, oh, I, yeah, that's, that price, that's not on the table anymore. Okay. All no. Right. No. You snooze right. and lose, mister. I didn't feel as good about myself. You know, I mean, I think that was one thing I felt, um, I don't know. I felt like I had, I had cheated myself out of something. So you paid a cost, but you didn't even sell a painting. Right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's huge. Because remember, if your number one challenge is self-confidence and you lost self-confidence. Yeah. That's screwed up, right? Yeah, that is screwed up. Okay. I didn't sell the painting. Then the people that are paying me full price are going to get a little pissed off because they didn't get a discount. If you give someone a discount, A, they're not, if they refer you Whoa. to someone else, yeah. pay 85% of sales come by way of referral. So if they refer you to someone else, what's that someone else going to be looking for? The discount. Right. And what if you don't give it to them? Then they're going to be pissed off. But when you discount, you immediately diminish the perceived value in the prospect's mind forever. Not yeah. once, forever. You're yeah. toast. You do other things to add value. Like you can always negotiate in a way that just dis discount your price. You could say, you know what, I'll come hang it up on your wall. I did that for a, um, a urologist who lives in Palo Alto. They had just redesigned their dining room. They bought four paintings for their dining room. Yeah. So I drove my ass down to Palo Alto and hung them on their wall so that they would be ready for their dinner party and they wouldn't it was one less thing for them to do to think about yeah and i sold four paintings like that that oh, was wow. four. that was way back in the day so that was four times that was twelve thousand dollars it was worth getting in the car for half yeah did you think they uh, you know you think i was going to give them a discount hell no he doesn't give you a discount on surgery
nobody else is, is my plumber's not discounting me. My dentist isn't discounting me, you know, so I just, I found, I just went, okay. So I guess, I guess this is how it works. This woman had seen my painting a couple of nights before I had a show. She had come in with a friend of hers who had bought small pieces of mine. And she saw this one piece in, in process. And, um, you know, I really didn't think much of it at the time. And we were, you know, chatting and everything. And uh, Leslie bought, you know, a couple more pieces when she was here. And I said, well, I'll let you know how this comes as I get, you know, get it near completion. So I sent her a photo and said, almost finished. And she said, have you sold it yet? And I said, no. And she said, are you still asking this amount for it? And I went, yeah, I am. And she said, okay, I might have a buyer. And it turned out to be the woman that she had bought to my studio that night, which was really pretty sweet. So there, so I also learned, well, I guess this reference ship works pretty well too. I said, okay, what would you not feel badly having it walk out the door for? And why not give it a try? You know, because if it, if it doesn't work, you know, you, ha you still haven't lost anything. You still have the painting. So I just want to ask, is the price negotiable? And I just said, no, it's not. And I, I didn't even, you know, I just waited and then she picked up the conversation. And again, for me, not to go into a big song and dance about, but it's a really great price. And aren't you getting a terrific value? It, again? it was just like, no, it's not. And she, and she waited a little and she said, okay, I just, you know, the client had asked me to ask, so I wanted to ask. That's it. If that's what the cost is, that's what the cost is. So empowered. I can't even tell you. I mean, it was like, oh my God. And I, and I think the best part was I have a couple of friends that are like, oh, you're taking an online class for this? Well, you know, what's it like? And I said, oh man, you know, she's pulling you inside out and making you read and do all these exercises. And this one guy was like, well, all I'm gonna say is if it starts to work, I'll pay attention. So the day after I found out I sold this painting, I walked in and went, guess who just sold the three foot by five foot painting? I just figured when this person said, is the price negotiable? I thought, what do I have to lose? So I said, no, it's not. 25,000. Oh my God! That <laughs> I got the deposit. Um, and, you know, they, like with a letter from them saying how excited they are about getting the painting. And I said, well, it still has to dry so I can varnish it. Um, you know, and then, then we'll get it down there. But it was just like, I, I just like walked around for a couple of days going, like never, n never have I sold. Like I remember the days of selling something for a thousand bucks and going zippity doo dah. Like I've heard so many artists and God knows I was guilty at one point of saying that I, you know, I really do get a lot of pleasure out of it. It's really important to me. You should. And, and all of a sudden one day I sat back and went, my brother's a lawyer. He loves what he does. And it's important to him. And it's important to him. And he gets paid a lot of money to do what he does. Right. You know, so it's like, well, just because I enjoy it doesn't mean I shouldn't get paid money for it. It is a luxury market. Um, not everybody's going to like your work, you know, which is okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it's okay to ask, it's okay to ask for money for what you do. And I think that is really one of the biggest things I've gotten is, you know, it is all right to ask for a lot of money for this because, you know, I really do feel that in some ways I am solving a problem for somebody. When I hear people say, well, I have all this work, so I'm just going to have a big yard sale and I'm thinking of taking a picture of this and what this is, is the money I've made since starting your course. To me, that's, that's the proof that my sales have increased in a way that I could not even have imagined if I had not taken this course.
and and beyond that, and I, and I know this is a buzzword that gets overused a lot, but I feel so much more empowered and I feel comfortable doing it.